Welcome to Shape by Faith, a special series led by health and fitness expert Teresa Rowe. Get ready for an entertaining and spirit-led adventure while learning ways you can become fit in your body, mind, and spirit. Now here's Teresa. We're doing a lateral shuffle step. So I'm going to show you the modification, just two-step and a curtsy, two-step, curtsy. And if you want to bring the arm out, that's totally up to you. Okay, so let's go. Shuffle, curtsy, shuffle, curtsy. Good. Let's keep it going. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him, and He will make your path straight. How you doing with this one? Again, you can do that two-step, two-step, little curtsy and jab across if you want, or you can rev it up. You can go higher if you want. It's just totally up to you, but keep going. Trust the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him, and He will direct your path. Good. Let's go back to the weights. So we're gonna go back to that reverse lunge with a hammer curl. Let's go ahead and get that started. One leg at a time. Breathe. Notice your heart rate probably went up when you did that shuffle step or if you did the two step. The word says, I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not harm you plans to give you a future and a hope. I love that. God has plans for you, specific plans, and He is going to prosper you, right? He will, and He's going to direct you as you maintain your focus on Him. All right, keep going. Reverse lunge. Doing fantastic. One more. All right, guess what we're going back to? Oh yeah, it's that plank. <laughs> it's that plank moving the weight back and forth. All right, let's go back to it. This is so good for the gore, core, so good for the body. Bring those legs out, pass that weight side to side. You know, I love the Our Father, the prayer that Jesus taught his disciples. And I love the part of it of course, it recognizes God first, but the part that says, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. God, that is our prayer today, that your will be done in our lives, in our community, in our country, with the leaders of our communities and the leaders of our country, Lord, that your will be done in their lives on earth as it is in heaven and in our country on earth as it is in heaven because you are great and you are mighty. All right, we're almost there. How are you doing with this plank? I sort of like this one, kind of moving the weight. Just side to side, gives the mind something to do. You have to stay focused here. One more, nice, and come out of that. And we're going back up to that lateral shuffle step or two step. This time, I'm going to keep the curtsy tap out of it, and I'm just going side to side, okay? Shuffle, and again. This is kind of fun, little shuffle step. Do not be foolish, but understand what the Lord's will is. Ask the Lord, Father, what's your will for me in this? In this situation, in this job, in transition, Lord, what's your will? Pray about it, ask him about it, meditate on his word and he'll show you. Keep going. 
On this one, you certainly can bring it way up if you want, and you can also keep it low. So you do what's best for you today, okay? We just wanna move this body and strengthen it. All right, one more back and forth. Nice, okay. Grab your weights again. We're gonna go into a bent row. So go ahead, bend, and we're gonna alternate kickbacks. Stay back in your heels and breathe, breathe. Make sure you're not holding the breath. That spine in good positioning. If this bothers you, you certainly can just stand up, and that's fine. Delight yourself in the Lord. And he promises that he will give you the desires of your heart. So delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. Keep going. Very nice. Working the tricep muscles, upper arms, keeping that core pulled in. You're doing fantastic. All right, now both arms back, and let's just stand up and do tricep kickbacks. Just those tricep kickbacks with the shoulders down. You're doing great. Delight yourself in the Lord, and He will give you the desires of your heart. He will. And you know what? You need to ask the Lord, are my desires lining up with your desires for my life? I mean, ask the Lord that, you know, you may be going in the right direction, but maybe your desires need to be tweaked just a little bit by the Holy Spirit. Ask the Lord to do that. Ask him to check those desires. We always want to be in alignment with the Lord, right? Always. All right, continuing those triceps, just kick it back and breathe. All right, one more. Great job. Okay, so coming up next, we will continue strengthening our body on Shaped by Faith. Let's go ahead and make our way down to the floor. We're gonna work that core with a vertical leg crunch and leg lowers. You're gonna love this one, I promise, <laughs> okay? So lie it down, bring your legs up, place the hands back behind the head. If you need to modify, just bring one foot down or both, okay? So go ahead, give yourself a nice crunch, lower those legs down and up. I told you you're gonna love it. Go ahead, crunch, and you can do double leg lower or single, all right? Your word is a lamp for my feet and a light to my path. The word lights up our path, it does. It gives us direction and it shows us which way to go and what to do and how to behave even, right? It does. All right, keep going. If you need to take a rest on that one, you can take it and go into a back stretch. You can also place the head all the way down instead of uh, bringing it up on that leg lower. So crunch up there, lower those legs, bring them up and keep that low back down. Inhale as you lower and exhale as you lift. Lord, light up our path. Father, just light it up, Lord, so we know the direction to go in and we know what to do and we know what to say in our conversations. And again, crunch and lower down, feeling this strong in the core and in those legs. And one more. Go ahead, give yourself a crunch and leg all the way down. Woo! Okay, place your feet down. We're gonna go on up and uh, stand up and go into some lateral lunges, okay? So we're also going to press overhead. So go ahead and grab your weights. We're gonna go into a lateral lunge, okay? So go ahead and reach the weight down and bring it up. Then lateral lunge, 
just side to side, okay? Inhale, lower, and exhale, lift. Same thing on this side. Patient endurance is what we need now so that we can continue to do God's will. I need that, <laughs> patient endurance. And then we will receive all that God has promised. Again, lower down, lateral lunge, and then a nice press up. Well, let's do that again. One more, each direction. And last one, very nice. Okay, this next one, it's a bent row. So what we're gonna do, position the legs, bend them, stay back in the hip, hips and glutes, and bring those arms up, hold right there. Then kick back and bring them back down. Elbows straight back, kick it back, hold, and lower. Anyone who chooses, anyone who chooses to do the will of God will find out whether my teaching comes from God or whether I speak on my own. And that's taken from the book of John. So, you know, don't just go by hearsay. Check everything out against the word of the Lord. Look it up. See what the Lord has to say, okay? Um, I'm not saying don't trust people, but when in doubt, go to the word and find out for yourself. Last one, we're going back down to the floor. And um, what we're gonna do is the same thing with that vertical leg crunch, which we love so, so much, right? So we're gonna go ahead and position ourselves on the floor, belly in, legs straight up. Go into a crunch and then leg lower down and then back up. Whoever does the will of God, the word said, will live forever. So that means eternally with the Lord. Whoever does the will of the Lord will live forever, okay? So let's ask the Lord to help us in that direction to do His will, to please Him in all that we do. Lower down, lift up. Nice little crunch there and a double leg lower and lift up and keep moving through this. Just breathe, ask the Lord to help you. I ask the Lord to help me when I'm exercising. Um, I'm asking for his strength and his endurance, and I'm asking him to help me to stay flexible, right? And to do these exercises to strengthen this body so that I can do what he's created me to do, right? Same with you. That's why we're working out, to discipline our bodies for his purposes. And again, let's do that crunch and double leg lower, just bring it down and then back up one more. Leg lower down and let's keep it down. How about that? All right, we need to go back up and we're gonna go into that lateral lunge again. So go ahead and grab your weights. We're gonna step out into the lateral lunge, bring one arm down and across and then press it up and then opposite arm, same thing, and press. Seek the kingdom of God above all else and live righteously, right? And he will give you everything, everything that you need. So seek the kingdom of the Lord, live a righteous life and God will grant you everything that you need. And again, lateral lunge and press. Good, keep it moving. You're doing beautifully. Keep strengthening your body for God's purposes. Be encouraged, the Lord is with you and he is strengthening you also in your faith. Last one, very nice. Okay, I'm going to the floor again. And I love the bridge. I love a lot of these exercises. So I'm going into a bridge position and we're gonna work the triceps, but in a different way. So lower down, go ahead, lengthen your spine, 
Come on up into a bridge position. Bring the weights up, tricep, and then lower down. Good. Do that again. Lift, tricep in down. Or you can simply press up and lower down. Okay, bring those elbows right beside you. We know that God causes everything to work together, right? He does for the good of those who love him and who've been called according to his purpose. So tricep press, or you can bring those weights back towards you and lift up one more, last one. Tune in next time as we continue shaping bodies and hearts for God's purposes with Teresa Rowe as we all become shaped by faith.